what's up everybody welcome back bringing you another troubleshooting video today uh, today we're going to focus on electric heat sequencers i had somebody message me asking about what they do a um, little help for home troubleshooting um, if you're doing this at home your diy stuff uh, make sure you're always disconnecting the power before you work with any of these sequencers electric air handlers are 240 volts and that'll really get a hold of you it can really hurt you um, so either if you're really worried about the electrical part call a professional uh, don't be afraid, but if you want to tackle it and try it, turn the power off. Maybe this will help you a little bit, okay? Basically, all your heat sequences are doing are breaking up the 240 volts going to your electric heat strips, okay? When the voltage comes into these, coming from your, this is a pull type disconnect, you may have just a breaker style. Um, don't get caught up on exactly what these components are, but this is your line voltage coming in. So you see we have one leg coming in to the sequencer here. This is a double stack sequencer, there's two. So we have another power leg coming in to the second one. Okay, these are time delayed. This is your 24 volts coming from your thermostat. So when you turn the heat on, the current going through here heats up a little metal disc and it pops that metal down. There's a ceramic rod in here that drops, allows her to have contact across here that connects this current. Okay, the current now comes through and goes into the heat strip, comes out of the heat strip on your black wire, and back. Okay, now we've made a complete circuit. Heat strips are just metal, they resist their heat, and it just heats up and glow. Uh, got one right here, actually. So, power coming in, goes through, heats up all the coil, power comes out, that's where you get your electric heat. Okay, if you have a heat pump, depending on where you live, you've got backup heat with this. If you have what they call an electric furnace, or just electric air handler, you may only have electric heat, okay? This would be what you guys may call emergency heat or auxiliary heat, and that's what they're referring to, okay? So all these things are on here. Um, your top one's gonna be your first strip, and it's gonna time delay another strip. You may have three of these, okay? There may be a whole bunch of wires coming off. Don't get too caught up on all those wires going everywhere. They're still the basic function. If you take, it, take a minute and track where they go, you'll see what they do. Again, a lot of these will have extra wires because they're, they're, some component on this air handler needs 240 volt. So like here, this one has 240 volt coming off of it. It's going all the way over here to a broken wire. Now, there was a board that goes here for this one and that would be used over here, okay? You'll also notice that on this side over here, track them all down. You have another wire coming out, going all the way over here, okay? You see where this one goes? It goes to the transformer, okay? Powering up that transformer to get 240 volts, right? To give us our 24 volts coming out. So again, just take your time, take a lot of pictures. I do it, I'm a professional. I've been doing this for a while, but I still take pictures, okay? Nothing beats a good picture to go back and reference. If not, you're gonna be trying to hunt down a wiring diagram for what you took off, okay? So again, take a lot of pictures. These two 24 volt ones on this one, there's two here. Um, most people have, this would be an auxiliary and they have an emergency. On an air handler like this, they're the same. Um, we're gonna kick on the two heat strips no matter what. Um, your 24 volt commons are here coming out. So over here, you would have your thermostat wire hooked up. As you can see, here's white and brown. They're both hooked together. If there was a lot of heat strips or you had a fancier thermostat, you can hook up white as auxiliary and brown as emergency. Um, but again, at the end of the day, as we've shown you over here, they connect and it's just one plug. So it's not gonna matter. Some of them, it does matter. You may have a sequencer similar to this one that's got multiples, okay? But even on something like this, you can see the 24 volts are connected. So. Once you provide power, these metal discs are going to start heating up, okay? Got one here we'll pull apart real quick so you can see. Got the little metal disc in there. Again, that heats up and pops down. You got your little ceramic rod. This guy's normally holding it up. Then when that metal pops down, that drops and you get your current, right? This is what typically breaks on these. The ceramic rod will break and break to pieces and this thing will make contact all the time and the problem the customer will have will be my heat strips are on even when my air is on. So that's what it is. All right guys, we just kind of like I said, we did a quick overview of them. Um, 
If you have any questions, pop a comment down below. We can make another video and get in really deep specifics. On a quick side note, if you're working on Goodman Air Handlers, okay, Goodman brand air handlers, or a Mana, they're gonna have a little guy in there that looks like this, okay? This is not an electric heat sequencer. This is a blower relay, okay? Does a lot of the same functions, still has a timer on and a timer off, but this one controls the blower. So don't get hung up on troubleshooting this guy if you have a heat strip problem. And likewise, if you have a blower problem, this could be it. These things go bad all the time. We keep them, you always ride on them that they're a relay, so when you grab them, you know. They're numbered different. You can see a one, two, and three. Whereas sequencers are gonna have M numbers on them, okay? We'll grab the one we took apart. You can see this is an M5, M6, and 7, 8. This would be a second stage heat or a later delay, okay? The numbers on top will tell you. The H is when it comes on, the C is when it goes off. So this one takes 30 to 70 seconds to come on, one to 40 seconds to go off. So this would be later stages of heat. So if you wanted earlier stages of heat sequencer, you'd have one like this that has M1, M2, and M3. The times on here aren't printed. They're not easier to see on here. We'd have to really track down which one this is, but this one will have a time delay of like one to 40 for the on and maybe 75 to 120 off. That means it's gonna come on quick, but it's gonna fade off. We don't want everything to come on instantly. It pulls too many amps and that's the whole reason behind this. Again, these are 5K each and they pull about 20 amps. So two of these coming on is 40. It's not that big a deal. Three or four coming on, that's 80 amps, okay? He's gonna pop breakers and, and overcurrent wires. So that's how we have the sequencers. Um, but likewise, we don't want them to go off instantly as well because then you get that blast of cold air. So we stage them on for the current. We stage them off for comfort, basically what that is, okay? All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up today. Like I said, post a comment below. If you're new to the channel, thanks for coming and watching. Hit the like and subscribe. Uh, we post up videos. If you guys have any specifics you want, you can always comment on any of the videos. Um, what you want us to do next uh, we have a shop and training area in here we can do a video on just about anything so for diy stuff you know we like to help out where we can uh, for my subscribers thanks again for the subscribing thanks for coming back and we'll catch you next time